Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing and this is The Bait. I love this is The Bait. It's the five wire Flash Mob Junior from Yum. And it's the one with the grubs. It's pretty much the exact same bait, except it has the grubs instead of the swim baits. It's got the same flashers, the same wires. It is packaged a little different. So the packaging, it comes all nice and tight in this small little package. Um, here's one that's not open. This is the three wire, so it also comes in a three wire. I didn't get a chance to use the three wire one, but the five wire one was tearing it up. I do like the way it's packaged like this. You can actually keep it in your tackle box. I think I have the other one. Let me go get that real quick. So this is the other one. This is, I've used this one before. I'll link a video to that. <laughs> that was pretty epic. But see how big of a package it is? Because it's got these bigger swim baits. It's, it's real hard to fit in the tackle box. I really like how they package these, these smaller ones with the grubs. Works out really well. It does take a while to put together because it's all close together. See how it's packaged? So you have to straighten the wires out. You make these 90 degree angles. And so each wire is like 180 degrees off from each other. And then you have the one coming right down the middle. It already comes with the grubs, but the grubs it comes with are, uh, they're kind of flimsy. I caught, I don't know, a lot of fish, but I lost how many? One, two, three. I ended up losing three of the original grubs. And they're just two and a half inch grubs. So any other grubs will work. I ended up using these Z-Man two and a half inch ones because I love the Elastec and they worked really well. I didn't lose any of those. They're very, very durable. Let me take you guys out on the water and show you some fish I caught on this guy right here. I want to catch one on this. Look at how many fish there are. And I can catch this thing pretty far. Let's sneak up on them and stay on the fish. Oh, I got two. No way. I got three. Ah! <laughs> Holy shoot. God, that's a lot of weight. Oh, the other one came off. Dang it, there was three on there. Oh, <laughs> finally. Yes. Oh, holy crap, they're right there. Oh, what do I do, what do I do? Take these off real quick. First time I ever caught two bass at once and they are schooling like crazy. Let's get some. Oh, they're everywhere around me. Get the big guy off next. There we go. Whew, I can't even breathe. I just paddled hardcore over here. Okay, let's get undangled. I had three on. There we go. Well, that one, the hook got straightened out. And that's probably why he got off. Oh yeah, that's the trick. Just gotta thump it a little bit. There we go. You can't just straight reel it in. You gotta thump it a little bit. Got me another one. Oh, whoa, no way. It's a big old bluegill. Dang! Look at that guy. Multi-species. Who would have thought on an umbrella rig? Look at this guy. I thought you guys were up spawning. Not you. 
Gosh, dang, that was a big bluegill. Whew. You're missing a tail completely. Let's see here. I got some extras. I got these three and a half inch. And then I got these two and a half inch. We'll try a two and a half inch. Yeah, these are exactly it right here. There we go. Now that thing should stay on forever. Holy crap, a bluegill, you guys. <laughs> this is fun. Jump with this A rig? I don't know. Yeah, that's another nice one. Oh, there we go. Oh, shoot down behind me. There we go, got him off. Oh, that's a huge school. Oh, right in the middle of the school, baby. There's one. Yep. Oh, just the itty bitty one. Oh. Whoo, he gets that whole thing out. Dang, right there, there's some more. Doesn't feel very big. Ooh, maybe a second one picked it up. Oh, I don't know, it feels kind of funny. Oh no, it's just a nice one. Got him. Oh, that's a nice bass, guys. Ooh, see, you got to fight them because uh, that hook will straighten right out. Dang, that's a long bass. Look how long that guy is. Oh, and I'm right over the school. Look at that. All right, boys. Let's go ahead and head on back. Oh, I got one on the A-Rig. <laughs> oh, he came off. That was a tiny little bass. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. I just had it back there like that. And I heard him jump. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, I got a fish. I felt that. Oh, yeah. I felt my kayak slow down. Oh, 
I'm gonna fight him a little bit in case that hook is about to straighten out. He pulled hard. Like, that's a nice bass. Like my kayak slowed down. Come on, baby. Got him. There we go. Right in the side of the mouth. Yeah, and that hook was still good. It wasn't about to straighten out. That was cool, you guys. Like, just troll in, got it in the, the rod holder, and I felt my kayak slow down. Like, like there was drag. And I looked back, and my rod tip was like, boom. Like, ah. <laughs> well, y'all, we're heading back to the boat ramp, and we managed to get one on the troll. Figured this would be a really good time for an outro. And... That rod tip is doing something funny. I think my spoon's in the weeds. So let me get him back. Thanks, you guys. This was so much fun. I had a blast. We caught so many fish. And uh, don't forget to fish, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. took the rod out of my hand holy crap just like trolling fast right under the surface dang this is so much fun i think that's the first one on the z-man and I hooked your tail. Such a pretty tail. I'm gonna get that out of there. There we go. Not as big as the last one, but fatter. Golly, that one's fat. So full. Thank you for playing. So that one was interesting because, uh, like, I felt a tap. And I was like, oh, maybe it's a weed. And then doof, pull, like, woohoo! That was awesome. I'm just having so much fun out here today. So glad I made that order. If you guys haven't checked that video out, I unboxed all this stuff in my last video. So go check that out. Sorry, I already did my outro. But, uh, you know, they're biting on the way back to the boat ramp, which is just right there. You know, I only had not very far to fish and just tearing it up. So I guess we're going to do it again and see if we can get another one. Yeah, just trolling like that. Oh, golly! <laughs> I called it? No way! How many fish are out here? Holy crap! Oh, this one's fighting good. Look, they're hitting my line. See that little tiny bass hitting my line? This one doesn't feel like a little tiny one, though. I haven't seen it yet. It feels like it might come up and jump. Yep. Oh, that's a big bass. Oh, yeah. This is the big one of the day. Oh. <laughs> Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, I got him hooked twice. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> You're going nowhere. That's a, that's the big one of the day right there. Dang. Oh, and I hooked him twice. Both in the mouth. He wanted all of it. Dang, that's a good bass. Look at this one, guys. That's a big bass. That's definitely the biggest one of the day. Right in front of these guys. A <laughs> little, little showboating, I guess. But uh, that's a nice bass. Heavy. Uh, I think I have my scale. This one might go like two pounds. I'm trying to get my scale. Sorry, I had my GoPro down. Um, it wasn't on my head, but it's 2.16. Nice bass. We'll let him go. He's been out of the water long enough. Whew. 
Okay, so that's one, two, three bass with three casts right here in the same spot. So we're just going to try it again. I'm in, look at like eight, nine feet of water, lots of weeds, like high weeds. And when I was catching that fish, little baby bass were coming up and hitting my line. So crazy. So crazy. So I know I did my outro a couple fish ago. Let's continue on, see if we can get some more. One thing you gotta look out for, make sure that that's not tangled underneath like that. Yeah, these things are a lot of work, keeping them straight, keeping them untangled, making sure your line's right, but man, they are worth it when they're hitting them, because that, that's a lot of fun. All right, here we go. Yeah, there's a little bass hitting my line again. There's another fish. This one's a little one. Yeah, let me just skate him back. Probably one of those itty bitty ones that were biting my line. Look at how tiny he is. That's the smallest one of the day. That's four casts in a row. But I don't know if you want to count this one. I'm going to count it. A fish is a fish. And he's so cute. Look at this little guy. He's like pocket sized. And look at this. Now I'm in 21 feet of water. So it looks like they're just chilling on that drop off. Oh, that's cool. Two of them. Fish. Must be a little one. We'll just skate him back to the boat. Oh, no, he's not done. Oh, thank you. No, I don't have to worry about getting hooked, taking that little guy off. So this is that Flash Mob Jr. with the grubs. And it, it's so hard to beat this bait. It was getting smashed. What's cool about this bait is it's got the grubs with lots of action and the spinners. You can actually troll with this. You just cast it out and reel it in. Um, when I'd cast it into the schools, um, I would like to twitch my rod. It kind of pulses, so these arms will pulse a little bit and give, give the bait like a little more action. And I seem to get strikes as soon as I would do that. But I also got a bunch of bass just trolling with this thing. It is an amazing bait. And with the grubs, it, on sale it was only like 10 bucks. So for the price, for what you're getting, this is a really good deal. I love this bait.